sure we're all on the same page here. Does everybody have a handout on their, on their paper, on their uh, desk there, or work area? Yeah. Okay, this handout um, is going to be, have a different meaning for everybody here. So I would like for you guys, just to start off, if you could take the handout out, and if you could write your three specific goals of today's lecture or today's session. If you just write what three things you're trying to get, what three things you'd like to know about social media or marketing from today's talk. And that way at the end, those should hopefully become our questions if they haven't been answered at this point. So I want everybody to leave here uh, and, and feeling empowered and having all your questions answered. So you can just write on your three goals of what you're looking to uh, get out of this seminar. That would be great. If, uh, if a personal high five is your goal, we can do that. Okay, so you have three goals here. All right, now as we get going, I want to show everybody up here. This is kind of a, a snapshot of some of the most popular social media formats out there. By show of hands, just kind of play with me on this one here. Uh, does anybody here have a LinkedIn account? LinkedIn, show of hands. LinkedIn, okay, a couple. Uh, what about YouTube? Anybody here have a YouTube? YouTube, okay. Uh, who here has a Facebook? Okay, um, who has a Twitter? Who has a Twitter? Okay. Who has a Dig account? Dig? Okay. Uh, what about TubeMogul? Uh, MySpace. Who has a MySpace? MySpace? Okay. Um, how many people here are somewhat annoyed by the Twitter updates you get? Do you ever get a Twitter update? You're somewhat, there we go, this guy back here. I was joking with the last session, but I get a guy named Michael who emails me these updates and tells me he's going to the store or he just got a great deal on this and I don't really know who he is. And uh, so I know Twitter can be kind of frustrating, and today we're going to hopefully not dwell into that. Uh, today we do have three objectives we want to get on there that I wanted to uh, make sure I answer for you. There's three of them here. Is one, I want to go over today the, the potential power of social media. Uh, I think with social media, one of the things that we have, there's this misnomer out there. People say social media is free. Look, YouTube's free. MySpace is free. Facebook is free. But really, what is your time worth, Right? And if you pay yourself $100 an hour or $50 an hour, whatever you pay yourself, and you spend eight hours a week on Facebook, it really costs you $400 or $800 to do that. So I don't think that social media is free because it's a ridiculous amount of time that's expected to keep them updated, and it's just a little bit crazy. And uh, a lot of people I know in the, sitting here might be thinking, every time I hear a speaker, it's usually they're a speaker because they don't have their own business. So I realize that's kind of a good, good thought people have. Um, I own three businesses, and you can research them online if you want to look them up. Uh, one's called DJConnectionDallas.com. It's the largest wedding entertainment business in the country. We do about 4,000 weddings a year. Uh, I have a business called Epic Photos Dallas. It's a large photography franchise. Uh, Fears Clark Realty. And the reason why I'm teaching you guys these things is because I grew up in a very poor family, and I was very ambitious, and so I bought a lot of crap that didn't work. Uh, previous to discovering things that do work, and I don't want anybody out here to be spending your time and energy wasting it on things that don't work. So the potential power is somewhere to get into. The second thing is to see how businesses are actually using social media to grow their markets. The second objective is how are businesses actually using social media to grow? Not just to stay in touch with them, not just to have a cool Facebook account, not just to send Twitter updates because it's a cool thing to do, but to actually make money on it. And then the third thing is to learn five action steps, five specific things you can learn and you can use immediately today to grow your business when you leave. So when you leave here, uh, while you're driving, you can use your laptop while driving and get pulled over for doing that. But you can use these things immediately when you finish uh, today's seminar. Okay. The potential power. Uh, I put the picture of the Death Star from the uh, third Star Wars up here. Uh, one, because I try to make as many Star Wars references as possible. I just like that. It makes me feel good. But the second thing is that I really feel like, you know, the whole third movie was about the potential power of the Death Star. I mean, social media, you hear this everywhere. Oh, it's great. Social media is off. Well, social media, I know business owners spending 15 hours a week not making any money, but just spending time on their social media. So I'm going to give you some, sta uh, some stats and some, some uh, specifics on it. You guys can formulate your own opinion. Here's some uh, true stats here for you. Uh, from the wedding industry, because that's the industry I know very well, one out of eight couples married in the U.S. last year met via social media. So whether that be like a Facebook or a, or a LinkedIn, or maybe they met on like a, some kind of matchmaker.com or whatever they are, one out of eight couples that got married last year met that way. But think about it for a second. If we go back in time, we're back in time 20 years, 20, 30 years ago, we're all wearing jean jackets. 
right? Okay? Imagine somebody then told you they met a friend like via the classified ads, that they were going to marry her. Or they, and then go back into like the early 90s, mid 90s, late 90s maybe, and someone would say, yeah, I, I met this girl online, she's great. You'd kind of be a little bit concerned at first, right? But now it's almost kind of socially acceptable. But what I'm saying is we went from not acceptable, not acceptable, to that's kind of becoming the norm. I would anticipate these stats will get more and more uh, couples will be meeting as a result of online uh, connections there. The second is Facebook added 100 million users in nine months. So in terms of just the exponential power of the internet, Facebook added 100 million users in the previous nine months. That's kind of wild. So other stuff, if Facebook were a country, it'd actually be the fourth largest country in the world right now. If it was a country. Um,